Greetings, I'm Stacey Anden, Master Life Coach and Intuitive Channel, and I'm here to bring us an oracle reading for the full moon that's happening right about now, tomorrow, June 14th, 2022. We are in, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful places, the middle of the calendar year, where we can offer ourselves some reflection from the last six months. And we can also really hold a vision for ourselves for the next. Like we're right on this like straddle of the past, the future, and again, grounding ourselves in the present moment, really finding the space right here and right now for what is true. So, so often we carry so much with us, the letting go of the full moon, that energy of just surrender and release. How can we let go of that, like these last six months? How do we really just honor them, bless them, appreciate the gifts and say, you know what? I'm going to have a little amnesia here around, you know, again, kind of living in the energies of the past and opening. It's like I love to think of like just walking through waterfall and letting the waterfall just clear away the water. Anything that no longer serves us, right? Things that we've we've been thinking about, we've been working on, you know, let it be easier, let it be more fun as we just say, you know what, I recognize that about myself, I recognize that about my past, and I am willing to stand in this moment and feel what's very, very true for me right now. So I am offering that to me and to you and to all of us. And of course, because the full moon is just ripe for some oracle cards. Let's see what the universe and the messages of spirit want to share with us. So today I'm using Denise Lynn's Sacred Destiny, a beautiful deck, the beautiful artwork. And again, if you are new to oracle cards or decks, I just choose decks that call to me. The artwork calls to me, the language of the cards. I put my hands on the actual books and the boxes and feel, does this feel feel like it's calling me closer? Or does it say, mm, no, it might be beautiful, but it's not for me. Trust those intuitive nudges. And as you can see, the back of these cards are absolutely beautiful and stunning. Little bit of me, either sunrise or sunset on the ocean. Perfect for summer, right? This blue which is all about being in our truth, all about speaking and expressing ourselves without the masks and the filters. Like the time is now to be slightly uncomfortable so that you can peel away a lot of that social programming and really be able to say, this is who I am. This is me. And I know a lot of us, especially if you're listening to me, we've been through some crazy shit shows in our lives. It's been messy. And this is what I'm talking about, being able to be with those parts of us, to integrate them into us, but not have them lead or hijack the present moment. And so it's just about coming back to love and compassion again and again. It's not about something complicated. It's just like, ah, yes, that is a belief that I carried. That is a coping mechanism that I used. What would feel better right now in this moment? So again, allowing ourselves to have that beautiful truth so let's pull three cards. I always love, love, love. Let's pull, we'll, we'll use kind of this past, present, future idea spread. I'm tripping over my words and we'll see what wants to come forward. So what wants to be let go of that we've been working on so far in the first half of the year? Wisdom, which is interesting. I'm going to interpret this as knowledge. A lot of us have been gathering knowledge and using that kind of filtering that through to create wisdom. And a lot of that is centered more in our head. We use our, like that logical side to gather the knowledge and wisdom. I love this kind of deep dive too of the card, right? So maybe we've been deep diving what's below the surface for the first half of the year. So just honoring we've been doing that, honoring that that's part of us, 
And what's right here, right now, in the middle of the year? I love these water cards, by the way. This card says voyage, and that looks like ah, like a whale with another whale, <laughs> I think. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and so how do we maybe literally take ourselves on a voyage? Maybe we metaphorically take ourselves out of, again, current circumstances. This might mean changing it up, going somewhere different for lunch or dinner, or getting your coffee or taking a walk somewhere new or taking a little overnight trip somewhere where you haven't been before. This is about, again, expansion to me, about really coming out and expressing ourselves again in ways that were moving, movement. So if you felt like you've really hunkered down, you've anchored in, you've grounded in, which again, this is absolutely what I've been feeling for quite a while, those energies inviting me to do. It may be now that you're ready to kind of take a travel, take a, a go out of what you've built as kind of your comfort zone lately in a beautiful way. It doesn't mean that you <laughs> to like drown yourself. No, float above the waterline, float above the surface. So if we've gone really deep. That first card is that underwater card, that scene, right? And now all of a sudden we are coming up for air, coming up above that, just however you interpret that for you. I don't want to tell you because again, this is about you taking the messages flushing them through you and really coming up with something that feels good. All right, what's coming for the second half of the year? And I love this card. It's very different than the water cards. Fire, the energy of change and action, inspired action, not just doing for the sake of it. And in this, there is this beautiful message of security. So I think so often when we are going out beyond, when we are letting go, right, we're saying, okay, this has been my past and I am ready to step into what I think now, what I feel now, where I want to go. A lot of times I can feel really scary. So the message is, we got you. The security of knowing and trusting, not that you have the whole plan or it's all figured out ahead of time, but just knowing that you get to create your own security. You get to come back to your own safety, building that fire, camping in if that's what feels good and supportive and safe in the moment and trusting that. So using the energies of water, using the energy of fire, again, doing that in ways that feel resonant and intuitive to you. There is no one on the planet that knows better than you. And a lot of us, again, have been grappling with our minds and our thoughts, that ego, that kind of that part of us that wants to keep us safe, but is absolutely squishing us <laughs> and our souls, right? In the process. And the soul saying, this is the time. Let's expand. Let's go out and take a voyage and see what else is out here for us. It's safe to do it. It There is security and being adventurous and taking on new things. So if you love this reading and you want your own, I do Oracle readings all the time for people. So reach out to me by checking out my website, which is myname.com. And if you are interested in being in community with me, hop on over. I have a free Facebook group called Everyday Enchantment. I would love to have you over there. I pull cards and messages and do all sorts of fun things all the time. And Lastly, if you'd like more of these type of videos, check out my channel. I also have a podcast and I'm always out here trying to, well, not trying, sharing ways in which we can use our own knowing, our own intuitive superpowers to create more ease and more fun. We've done a lot of things the hard way. It's not skipping one thing to the other, but it's about integrating more playfulness and lightness and using those energies to help us us create the something new. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will talk to you more later.